three rounds of five minutes. Referees, Mr. Niels Bjorsken. I can't wait to watch this one. I am on the edge of my seat. We can see here Bogdan, three years older, but Yushri, yeah, has almost 10 centimeters on him for height. Got a good amount on reach as well, and he's going to want to stand and box box. When there's a lot of things we see, and we we might know how to stop, Fight. but when they're fully committed, they're really hard to stop. And you throw that overhand right as hard as you can at Usri, and then drive into the hip area. And now Usri will know you're doing it, but it's hard to stop in this first few minutes. And Kotlovyanov has, and there it goes with the left hook instead. But it's the same idea: big punches and get to the hips. That's it. We've seen uh, Belgari throw a couple of leg kicks already. Stefan, we assume that's going to be a big part of the strategy here. Oh, getting kicked by a guy like Yushu is different than just being kicked by someone else. If that happens in the first 30 seconds, you already know this. Ugh. I don't want this again. <laughs> yeah. And again, like, you know, we're humans. You touch it, you touch a hot element, eventually you stop touching it. But in this case, you've got to move towards it. You gotta keep, you gotta stalk this yep. guy, and you and that is really psychologically hard to do. But that's what Kotlovyanov has to do: is move forward and get tight in here with this guy. Nice jab to the body. And Kotlovyanov looks like he's trying to check Yusri's kicks a lot more. Well, if you remember the Rodriguez fight from earlier, didn't do much checking at all, and that just allowed Van Stenis to eat that, that leg. So it shows at least Kotlovyanov has is aware of the danger. Yeah. He's also... Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, that's it's it. done. Wow. It's done. Oh, oh my days. Solo Plexus. Unbelievable. I want to see the replay oh. as soon as humanly possible. Unreal. Your like, body can take a look. Here we go. Thanks to the team here. Big. Oh. oh. So oh, what the happens? Way he folds. Yeah. So when that happens, it isn't only pain. Big. The pain is incidental to the shutdown. Your body doesn't shut down because it's hurt, it hurts. Your body shuts down and it hurts, right? Um, so the rib compresses and then it, your diaphragm empties. And if you were in that cage, Stefan, you would have heard him go, oh, as it's the, the worst. It's the worst. And the, the one thing you don't want is get hit again on the body because uh, uh, you cannot breathe for like 30 seconds. And the pain is, oh, it's the worst. Well, as you said, Stefan, you know, there's being kicked and there's being kicked by someone like Belvary. It seems like there's being punched and there's being punched by someone like yeah. Belvary. Yeah, your body just shuts down. My, you you want to nothing to do with you anymore after that. No. My friend Joe Lozon used to call it a poison arrow because the arrow hurts, but it's the poison that kills you, right? So big. Oh. the punch hurts, but the reason his body is shut down is because the liver and the organs are in trauma, right? Oh God, it's just, he stabbed him with it. I don't think I'll get tired of watching that. No. Oh. That is a special martial artist. And that's it. I, I mean, I, I guess the, to the, the, of the, ring, please. the downside of that potentially for Bouchery is he didn't get tested as much as he wanted to do. You know, he's still on the early days of the MMA journey. He saw the look on his face. He wanted to feel him out a little more. He wanted to get that experience in the cage, but... We're in the window, ladies and gentlemen! He'll get there. After one minute and 50 seconds in the first round, here's the man in the red corner, Yusri Begagawi! You heard that? I heard, I heard like a, a snap. Uh, I heard a snap. I think his rib is really fucked. <laughs> you, got a, you got a big smile on your face as you say, I, I heard a pop. I think his rib is really fucked. I, I, I feel bad for him, of course. Of course. Uh, when you did commentary with us last time, you said as you start walking out here, everything kind of gets small and you feel like you're in a movie. Did you have that experience again? Yeah, I'm happy I, it did, you know, because there's so many people I love, so many people I share, you know, emotions with. But I'm happy I got that, that tunnel vision, you know. I kind of saw him, but, you know, I was just focusing on my opponent. Uh, stay focused, you know, I, I know. Yeah, I had to finish it, you know, and make a show. I, I hope it was a little bit longer, but uh, I think it's good. Can I, can I take the mic a little bit? I never give the mic to anyone, but you can have it, yes. Oh, it's Thank you. 
Uh, dames en heren, dank jullie wel voor het komen. In grote getalen. Ik wil jullie echt vanuit mijn hart bedanken. Uh, ja. uh, uh, vorig jaar was het een beetje een zwaar jaar, 2022. Dit jaar een goed jaar, het begint goed, ook met een goede fight. Ik weet dat veel mensen misschien lastig hebben gehad. Uh, twee mensen begraven, mijn vader en Henky, waarvan veel familie ook hier is. Uh, ik wil uh, even iets doen, dat ik toch mijn tijd wil nemen. Ik had 15 minuten toch hier eigenlijk. Hè? Dus uh, ik wil dat jullie allemaal meedoen. Het is uh, voor de mensen die zijn gegaan. Maar ook vooral voor de mensen die hier nog zijn, strijden met bloed, zweet en tranen. Amsterdam, sta op. En doe mee alsjeblieft, want ik kan niet zingen. Ik heb het goed gedaan, maar ook zo fout gedaan. Als ik terugkijk in de tijd, een lach met